of course you don't want to be sick and you don't want to be tired and you really don't want to lose your hair. Fortuitously, saw a new segment on the cool cap and I asked my oncologist about it. When it's cold, those pores are closed so it's minimal entrances for the drug to get into those follicles. So you need to make sure your hair is damp, you spray it with the water, you brush it, then you put um, some conditioner on your hands and run it through your hair, and then you put the cap on. First put on the inner cap, press it to their head, and then pull it over their scalp and fit it and make sure it's, it's fitted right there. There are little curved out sections for your ears so you know kind of where it's supposed to be placed. You loosen all these strings and straps. You turn it inside out, put it on your head, pull it tight over the inner cap. You attach your cap. You let it cool for 30 minutes before your actual chemo treatment because that gives your scalp time to cool down. Treatments were about three hours long because I was getting four drugs in the beginning. An inconvenience is that you have to keep the cap on for an hour and a half after your treatment's over. That's while the medications all settle into your system. And um, again, so it makes for a really long day. I was pleasantly surprised that I made it out of treatment. I am currently two months out of treatment with probably 70% of my hair. I have lost hair, but I never had to put on my wig. In my recovery, it meant a lot to wake up every morning and still have my hair. Just emotionally, I think it's, it has great healing power.